Good morning, my peeps. Good morning, and I love you. Happy Monday. Starting off this morning a little differently. You know, I've been really worn down the past, well, few months, but uh, you guys have seen on the vlog that I've struggled a bit, and, you know, the Lord revealed to me yesterday that I am spiritually starved. I have so much going on in my life that keeps me busy that my prayer life and my quiet time have really suffered and it's not a coincidence. So I woke up this morning, I spent some time in prayer, and now I'm going to spend some time in the devotionals that I've all but neglected. So. I said, I might as well have you guys join me for this because I think we're all guilty <laughs> of doing the same thing, but I'm going to go backwards on this thing. The question is, why doesn't God want you to feel guilt and shame? And I think that, you know, carrying guilt and shame is, it, it trivializes what happened on the cross. That's the word I was looking for. Jesus died to take away our guilt and shame. And when we carry that, it's almost as if we're saying the cross wasn't enough. So let's go to him in prayer first. God of peace, how do I accept what I do not deserve? Though I am guilty of many things, you release me from all of them. You send my shame to the bottom of the ocean. You separate me from my guilt as the east is from the west. Thank you, Father. You are so very good. And then the scriptures back up the prayer. God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done, and he will make us pure. The Lord and King helps me. He won't let me be dishonored. So I've made up my mind to keep on serving him, and I know he won't let me be put to shame. And those who go to him for help are happy, and they will never be disgraced. And Paul writes to the Philippians, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and make up my mind. <laughs> Just go ahead and serve him and make him priority number one, no matter what else is going on. So. Sorry for the long intro today, but if anybody's worth a long intro, it's definitely the Lord. I hope this helps someone like it helped me this morning. All right. Spiritually nourished and ready to get on Kathy's live stream and get some prayer on. <laughs> Love you guys. Talk to you in a little bit. I had to spend time in the live stream. That always makes my morning better. And everybody was talking about peanut butter and jelly. So then I came in here thinking I was going to have peanut butter and jelly. But then people were talking about peanut butter and jelly banana. And then I was like, mm, maybe I'll have peanut butter jelly banana. But then I started thinking about bananas. And then I started thinking about Nutella. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just slice up this banana real quick. Put a nice scoop of Nutella on there, and that will be my quick and easy breakfast. And I think I can get one more slice out of this banana if it'll all cooperate. And there you go. All right. I've already knocked out a bunch at work, too, which is always a great feeling. Whoopsie. Come on now. Yeah, I know, guys. Don't be judgy. <laughs> Who else likes Nutella? I don't know anybody who doesn't. One of the most delicious things I've ever had, when I lived in Miami, there was a, a little place called the Crepe Factory, and they would make a crepe with Nutella spread, bananas, and fresh strawberries. Oh my heavens, what I wouldn't do to be able to go out and just grab one of those. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go have my breakfast. Talk to you in a bit. 
All right, so I'm rocking my new Radio Shack shirt that I got at Kohl's when I went back to school shopping with Allie. And I'm using my lunch to try to accomplish the impossible. Go to Walgreens and Publix. <laughs> we will see, guys, but, you know, trying to get ahead of the game. This is the last week before school starts, so I've got to put it into full eight cylinders, you know? No four, no six, full eight. So I'm going to grab Allie's um, school supplies, you know, binders and such, and then Publix, just try to grab whatever's on the list that I wasn't able to get on Saturday when I went grocery shopping with Glenn, because we only hit the one store. <sighs> so wish me luck. Let's see how much I can actually get done in an hour. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> took a quick minute to just clean out the sink and turn on the dishwasher but you see how there's fried chicken on the stove you know why because my refrigerator is completely full <laughs> there will be no cooking today people because my refrigerator needs to get emptied before I can think about putting anything else in there so at least I know I'm uh, taking a break from the kitchen today all right let me turn on the dryer and then I'll have my sheets done and I'm staying caught up at work, so hooray! Here we are, folks, the end of the day in my recently cleaned office with uh, Blind View's portrait of me <laughs> hanging in the background. And uh, I got so much done today. What a difference it makes to just get on your knees first thing in the morning and just say, Lord, help me, help me. <laughs> you know, it's, it's my personality. I don't like to ask for help and it's, it's kind of a bad trait. I mean, it's good in that, you know, people should be able to get their own business taken care of, but I always take on so much and I manage to get it done, but there's, there's a cost to it. So it makes a difference because he really did help today. Not only did I stay completely caught up at work, I even managed to get all of Allison's back to school supplies. I managed to get the rest of the grocery shopping done. I got my bed sheets washed, bed made, kitchen cleaned up. So, I mean, you know, you think about all that in one day, I mean, it's no small thing. I still have to clean the house, but hey. <laughs> So I know this vlog is running very long, um, very chatty, but um, you know, we'll see what tomorrow holds. I'm just glad I was able to spend some time with you guys in this crazy vlog of mine. <laughs> it's just another thing, but you know, it really is such a blessing to have in my life. And I, and I say that meaning it's a blessing. So with that, I'll wrap it up, remind you that I love you, and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good night.